Here it is, my super Nintendo. Very super because of the super sticker and Contra 3. Now we all know the Super Nintendo does composite video and S video, which I have running into the Frame Meister over here. And I'll record a few clips of Contra 3 with composite and S video to show you the comparison because the next thing I'm going to do is plug in the SCART cables from RetroGamingCables.co.uk AD 2636 they're still using composite which looks terrible the only thing worse than composite is the R zone which actually dissolves your eyeballs from another dimension you don't want composite let's attack aggressively but not with composite look it's all blurry and it sucks 2636 with S video however looks much better uh, for just a small a small increase in price, you can get some S-Video cables that attack aggressively with better color, saturation, and clarity. There you have it. The composite looks like composite. The S-Video looks better. But now, we're going to plug in this from Retro Gaming Cables. The Super Nintendo Super Famicom RGB Euroscart cable. They have their own printed plugs nowadays. Look at that. Fancy! Thanks to my friend Rob over at Retro Gaming Cables for hooking me up with these. Perfect for the Frame Meister. Plug these into the back of Super Nintendo and I'll be demonstrating some Super Famicom in a bit too. Here's their 21 pin to XRGB mini adapter which goes into the Frame Meister. We'll plug the skirt into that. Making a clicky sound. The Frame Meister is already on. Turn on the Super Nintendo and then select RGB. And we're off. 2636 with skirt cables. Looks sharp, it looks clear. This is a huge improvement. Particularly useful in the future when we attack aggressively on giant 65 inch televisions, which we really didn't do back in the 90s. Here's a look at Contra 3 being recorded for my Contra 3 review using the Retro Gaming Cables SCART cables. It looks incredible. Now there's any variety of ways to play these old school games these days. There's numerous aftermarket game systems which will even output HD MI. If you have the actual Super Nintendo, if you collect old school games and you want to keep it old school. These cables will do the job. Now depending on which TV you have, you may need to go through something like a Frame Meister which doesn't make it any less expensive. This isn't really all that much of a cost savings unless you have a TV which will accept SCART. But it really looks nice as you can see and I'm using all of my original hardware. Hey that was fun but you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm going to plug in something else that's even more awesome. Oh wait, that's a different video. Sorry, hang on. I get him confused. Super Famicom! With Super Alest. Let's plug in the retro gaming cables here into the back. Alright. Had to grab a different power cable, but now I am rocking Super Alest over SCART using the Frame Meister. Once again, Retro Gaming Cables dot co dot UK. Good stuff. Here's some footage of Super Alest being recorded from the Super Famicom using these SCART cables from Retro Gaming Cables. And this is a gorgeous game. You want to pull every bit of detail out of it. And these cables are a nice way to do that with the original hardware and the original game. So thanks once again to my friend Rob at RetroGamingCables.co.uk. He does really nice work. 
And he's a very nice guy. So nice that I'm sure he'll take a request. How about some SCART cables for the R-Zone? Just imagine the R-Zone with even more clarity and contrast to suck your brain into the Super Elast looks really super, doesn't it? Is this game on the R Zone? Technically, it is now, because I'm in it. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by these books on Amazon Ultra Massive Volume 1 Retro Mega Treks, How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck, Ethel, The Cyborg Ninja Jesus 1 and 2 Pac Man, Collector's Guide to Definitive Review, and Ultra Massive Video Game Console Guide 2. On Amazon. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.